I, Bobby Cameron, do solemnly and sincerely swear. Federation of Sovereign Indigenous Nations Chief Bobby Cameron held an eagle feather as he took his oath of office in the fall of 2021. I, Bobby Cameron, do declare and testify that I am, according to the laws of the FSIN, qualified to be elected as a member of the FSIN executive. Hey, 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 hey. But critics are now questioning that pledge. CBC News has obtained a copy of Cameron's criminal record and it contains a conviction for theft. Now the FSIN's own election rules prohibit anyone from running for election if they have a theft conviction. The criminal record clause was used to disqualify four other candidates in the 2021 election. The former chief of Cowessus First Nation, Cadmus Delorme, sat on the FSIN's electoral commission at the time. He says he was unaware of Cameron's record and that this needs to be investigated. Is Chief Bobby the chief? Well, you know what? The FSIN has moved forward. Uh, was good governance followed? From my understanding, it was not. Bobby Cameron didn't hide his criminal record from the FSIN. The electoral officer in 2021 says she raised concerns about his record two weeks before the election and why Cameron was granted leniency when others weren't. But she says she was told to let it go. Cameron's rival was former Flying Dust First Nation chief Bob Morasti. Morasti says this is evidence that the FSIN has strayed from its original vision. I think people are getting tired of what's going on. They're tired of seeing the norm. It's become the norm to see the manipulation and to see, I'll say it, the corruption. It's, it's become the norm. And when did that become the norm of FSIN? That cannot continue. Okay. Morasti says he's considering his legal and political options. Cameron and other FSIN officials did not reply to repeated interview requests. Jason Warwick, CBC News, Saskatoon.